the moment we all been waiting for. It's official. BlackRock has officially filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF with the SEC. The rumors were true. And as most of you know, this is not a good thing for the future of Bitcoin or crypto assets. However, this is a necessary evil as much as I hate to say it. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what an ETF actually is, details about BlackRock, and of course, the Bitcoin spot ETF, and give you some of my thoughts about the pros and the cons. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, set alerts. Welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day from your favorite shock jock, Wendy O. So, BlackRock has approximately $9.5 trillion in assets under management in quarter one of 2023. And yes, they own approximately 99% of American companies while well, they're invested in it. Anyways, an ETF would use Coinbase custody for the BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF, which is funny because the SEC is currently going after Coinbase. Anyways, they're going to rely on Coinbase's spot market data for pricing. And they got to have some other institutional players in. BNY Mellon will be the cash custodian. So far, not a single application for this particular type of ETF or spot ETF has been approved by the SECs over concerns about potential fraud, market manipulation in the market, even though TradFi, banking, public servants, hello. Anyways, the SEC has approved four Bitcoin ETFs for futures trading. Futures are different than spot. Very, very different. But what is an actual ETF and why are we talking about it and why does this matter? So an ETF is an investment product tied to commodities because we want to indicate that Bitcoin is a commodity. Also currencies, stocks, or bonds. And I think this is why they're probably pushing it. Also, a Bitcoin ETF allows investors to invest in Bitcoin without having to hold it themselves. This part is kind of good because a lot of people are irresponsible for their keys, but again, defeats the entire purpose of Bitcoin. Also, they buy shares that track the price of Bitcoin. So initially, Bitcoin was created for the people by the people so people can have power, control their assets. But now that we have a big player like BlackRock, blah, 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 Block. BlackRock coming in, it's going to be absolutely dangerous to the industry because they're going to monopolize it, okay? And they're going to restrict you from what you can and can't do. This will benefit accredited investors and institutional investors, but not poor people, not people who own less than $250,000, excuse me, make less than $250,000 or have less than $100 or $1 million in assets. So this is going to be good for adoption, but at the same time, it's also bad because it defeats the entire purpose of Bitcoin and what we're trying to do in the crypto asset industry. I don't like it. I'm against it, but a lot of people seem to like it. Comment your thoughts below. Do you want a Bitcoin spot ETF from BlackRock? 